Hello, so I recently did a quick video of the equipment I use and I mentioned I use PowerDirector 14 and this is PowerDirector 14. I'm just going to give you a quick overview of some of the features and what you should look out for if you are looking to purchase some video editing software. I did use Movie Maker, Windows Movie Maker, but this offers a lot more. So just at the top here, this section you've got is where your media and your options are so this does all sorts it's got fx built in picture and picture titles it can do all sorts over on this side is the preview so if i click on these you can see different previews coming up and then down the bottom you've got different tracks for various items so you can have multiple sets of video on here if i scroll down you've got the voiceover section and you've got the music section so this is the actual video that i made last time which is a video about equipment i use and this is it in PowerDirector. So there's a few things to note. You can see I've got sound on here and I've got multiple things going on down the bottom. Now in the video, I mentioned that I didn't use the camera's sound. I actually used a second voiceover. I'm just gonna show you how that works. So here we've got the camera footage, very flattering view. And here we have the voiceover. Now when I play these, these are actually out of sync to begin with, YouTube <coughs> and Amazon. And on both sites, I've been getting a few questions recently asking me what. So first thing I needed to do was select them both and sync by audio. Now this is a really clever, clever little feature that means if you've got multiple viewing angles, you can then synchronize them up. If you've recorded things using uh, different cameras, so there we go, they're now synchronized up. As well as Amazon. And, and that means I can then uh, unlink the audio from my camera, which wasn't very good. And then split off the start, so just get rid of those. And then if I put those two together, quite a few questions across various media asking me what's quick. And so that's how I improved the audio. Now, there's a, another thing there that you need to be aware of that PowerDirect is really good at, which is the splitting of video. So I actually recorded this in one long tape, but you can see here, there's different splits involved. So if I want to do a cut just there, I simply hit that. I can insert some video, I can move that around, I can delete it, I can mute it. All sorts of really great features. So quite often I will record all the footage first. So here's a smartwatch I'm currently reviewing. I'm just editing that now. And I will then record a voiceover afterwards. So you can go, and here it is. It's actually picking up the sound from the microphone that I'm recording this on. And then if I hit record, that will then add a voiceover track. And that means you can get everything looking nice and tidy if you want to write a script or if you just do it freestyle, you can do so very easily. There's a few other features that you want to be aware of if you're looking at video editing. So there's transitions. I try not to use too many transitions because I think it's uh, it's a little bit too much. But the, this power director does have quite a few in and you can simply drag, drag them on. And then straight away you can view that and see the transition type. There you go. There's also the ability to add text and it does come with a lot of nice templates if you're doing titles things like that and you can edit these as well so if i just drag that on like so double click on it so you can add your own text this is some test text and that now means that on track two which overlays track one you have there you go, nice little bit of text that pops up. So just covering off some of the other menu items. So you've got the media room, which we've looked at. We've got FX room. So this allows you to apply different effects to your video. So if I just slap that on to there, for example, PowerDirect is very powerful in that it will just apply it in real time. So there you go. And there's the effect. So it's now more like a uh, drawing. Let me slap another one on there. So it goes from the drawing one, and there you see it's broken glass. You, it's uh, broken in this central piece here. Really nice little effect. So there's little picture-in-picture -picture objects if you want to add a little something. So there's a little man on a bike, for example, and that'll just go on the screen. There's particle effects that you can have a play around with. These are quite interesting. I've used them a couple of times, not, not too often. Uh, but again, they just can help add a little something to your video if you're trying to do a particular look. Text options with 
covered. So you can see you've got all sorts of different options to overlay for uh, whatever you're trying to do. Transition options. And this is the audio center. This allows you to adjust the volume. Very handy for balancing things like the voiceover and the music. And then along the bottom, you can see you've got various additional bits of tools. So if I go to power tools on each video, you can then uh, do it video in reverse, video speed. I use the video speed quite a lot. If you've seen any of my recent videos, if I've recorded something that takes a little bit too long to show, I'll come in here, I will increase the speed. And when I say, okay, you'll see it shortens that down. And then when it plays back on the preview, the video speed is a little bit jerky, but that will come out nice and smooth when you are finally ready to produce it. There's a motion tracker. I've used this a couple of times as well. This allows you to, let's say you've got something on here you don't want to show, such as a phone number, which is why I use it for. You simply pop the bit on. So we're gonna track this circle, hit track. So the software is now tracking this particular item. So you can see the box moving around as well. That then allows you to go back and apply something like text or, so in this case, the one I use quite a lot is this kind of uh, pixelated effect. So if you wanted to pixelate someone out, when we now play it back, that pixelation continues for as long as the track does. So very handy. And then when you're ready, you can then produce your video. Now at the bottom here, this is really handy. This, this remaining is how big the video file will be. And that's handy for me because Amazon only allow up to 100 meg. So I then have to select something that's much lower down at 75. I can then hit produce, hit start and that'll produce a video that I can upload to Amazon and it will retain a fairly decent quality. Otherwise, Amazon downscales it and sometimes it can look terrible. There's also the option to submit directly to an online site. All that actually does though is produce a video on your local drive and then automatically uploads it. It's just as easy really, I found, to produce the video and then manually upload it because it's if you go to uh, online YouTube, you can see it's already filling out description with Power Director, Power Director, and that's not really what you want to do. There's also a capture center that allows you to capture vocals and also video. So if you want to capture your video direct into this, you can do. So overall, I quite like Power Director. It does uh, have its moments. I have had a few crashes most recently with uh, GeForce Experience. This kept crashing every few minutes. That seems to have been resolved now, uh, but I would recommend it. It's not too expensive compared to other software providers and I'll put a link in the description below so you can click through see if they've got any offers on at the moment but if you are just considering software generally the, the key things for me are to make sure that you can split video quite easily and that you've got multi-track so you can add different audio and music as well. If you're not already please hit subscribe and if you've got any questions about Power Director, leave them in the comment section below and if there's enough of them I may even do another video.